go. Just plug that, plug it right in there, and bam. All right, all right. I am back again. Here is the Federal Enterprise Model Two uh, Siren. Uh, completely restored, motor rewound and everything, media blasted the whole thing, new brushes and everything. Mostly I got uh, most, a lot of stainless steel bolts, however I just got to find uh, new bolts for these and I'll have practically new everything on this thing. Uh, let's take a look at the motor, looks, looks very good, as you can see. Uh, However, I looked at the wiring on this thing after uh, I checked out what, what was wrong with it when I plugged it into a 120 volts AC. Uh, when it when I plugged it in, all it did was hum and didn't move an inch. When I tried spinning, it actually resisted. So when I plugged it into a uh, 12 volt battery, it spun very slowly and kind of made noise a bit. And I'm and I looked at the wiring on the motor right in there. It's actually uh, wired for direct current, not alternating current. As you can see, I got two, uh, four new brushes. So, so when I have this wired up here, coming from the motor, uh, this is going to a, a bridge rectifier. Let's take, let's take a look. So I don't have a screw on this thing, so looks like it's KBPC5010. And that is a bridge rectifier. It is rated for uh, 1000 volts at 50 amps. So that thing can take a lot. I have it mounted to a heat sink just in case if it overheats. And I have it going to a plug. So after all, so after the rectification from this thing, I'll have a hundred forty volts give or take on direct current. For your electronic nerds, you know what I'm talking about there. For who who doesn't know why I got a hundred forty from a hundred twenty, that's because uh, hundred twenty volts that is taken not at the very peak of the sine wave. It's taken in roughly like seventy degrees, roughly. From the uh, from the uh, sine waves, and when you turn it to DC, DC is measured at the top of the wave instead of instead of the around 70 degree mark. So, I've never tried this before. As you saw, I was trying to uh, crimp it. So, here we go. First test ever. It's got a extension cord. All right. I have a little trouble here. Just bent the prong a bit. Oh, Alright, let's try it now. Alright. Oh. Well, that's a positive sign. I don't want to bring it all the way up since one, I do not have hearing protection, and two, the neighbors are here. So, I'll. Do it one more time and hopefully I'll get a little bit louder. <laughs> right, let's do it one more time because I, I thought that was pretty cool. Let's see if anything's coming from the brushes. See if the if they're sparking at all. Just put you right down here. Turn the siren a bit so you can actually see the brushes. I think I gotta turn you around. Alright, can you see it? Alright, cool, yeah you can. Alright, let's do it one more time. See if there's any sparks or anything coming from the commutator. So look at that. 
I need. Look at that, it actually runs on direct current, not alternating current. Series while motor, however, it's uh, wired differently, so this thing actually runs on direct current. So, uh, hopefully, I can find an area where I can uh, go this at full blast at either 120 or 240 volts uh, direct current or DC. So, hopefully, I can find an area where I can do it because of the neighbors, even though I have the door closed, this thing is still pretty loud. So, thank you for watching, and I'm glad to see that this thing actually runs. <laughs> uh, Alright, catch you later.